So Malwarebytes comes out with version 2.0 after nearly a year of hanging around with version 1.75. I have to admit it looked kind of suspicious after the updates after installing Malwarebytes were 340 days old. I had to think they were coming up with something sooner or later, and they did. They came out with version 2.0. Um, again, they have free and premium versions. They also have a whole bunch of business versions, which I believe you can manage on a server. Some nice features with the new stuff. Uh, well, essentially the same features they had in the pro version before, but now they're calling it premium. Unfortunately, it is no longer a lifetime subscription. Now when you buy it, you get up to uh, you get one year of subscription, which renews automatically using your credit card. And uh, you can cover up to three PCs, which is kind of cool. So that's kind of a nice little gimme from Malwarebytes. Ironically, when uh, Super Anti Spyware went from a lifetime to annual, I kind of found the performance in that product kind of go downhill. I'd scan a computer with it, and uh, when it was done, it would still be pretty badly infected by adware and malware. So we switched to Malwarebytes a couple of years ago and had pretty good success. So, um,. This is the old interface. Unfortunately, when you try to update it, you click on updates, it only pulls down definition updates. So if you want to update your malware bytes from 1.75 to 2, guess what, kids? You're going to have to do it manually. And if you're a PC support person like I am, you're going to have a lot of angry customers. So why didn't this stuff update automatically? My Norton updates automatically. Well, unfortunately, this particular software doesn't have the mechanism to do it automatically you have to go to the website you have to well this one's infected uh well it's a good case this one had malware bytes pro 1.75 and well we all know that there's no perfect protection so uh, anyway uh you have to go to the website and you have to download the uh free update to 2.0 and you need to let your customers know they need to do that otherwise they won't have the best and most adequate protection so uh, fortunately, it's pretty quick download. It's less than 10 megs, I believe, and it updates pretty uh, easily, and it rewrites it and imports your license information. So if you have the lifetime version, if you bought it before April of 2014, your lifetime version is grandfathered in, and you should never have to pay a subscription on that particular computer anyway. So, But if you bought it after April of 2014, you are in for the annual subscription deal. And it's uh, hopefully it'll be 25 bucks for the foreseeable future. So uh, it requires, again, a manual update. And you'll have to do this through the malwarebytes.org website. Make sure your customers aren't downloading it somewhere else. Otherwise, they could end up with a rude awakening or potentially some more malware on their computer. Now, once you've done the update, you're going to notice that the new interface... Well, it kind of looks like malware. Some of these programs are, uh, they look exactly like this. It's the most bizarre thing. It's like the old fake Windows or Microsoft Security Essentials virus, which looks very, very suspiciously like this. But know for sure, this is the authentic Malwarebytes 2.0 interface. Uh, bad choice of font, bad choice of colors, bad choice of layout, but it is what it is. I think we've sent emails back and forth to Malwarebytes before we told them that's looking kind of cheesy. And they're like, well, cheesy is part of our look. This is what we want to do. So um, this is the new interface. It should all have the scanning options here. Uh, the threat scan is the main one. You can do a custom scan if you just want to scan a couple of folders or something. And, and for the uh, premium subscribers, there's the hyper scan, which I believe is disabled in the free version, but I haven't checked that yet. Uh, it was disabled on the non-pro versions before, so I can't imagine they're giving that away for free, too. So you click on a threat scan, and then it runs through all this stuff, checks you all your files and all your startup processes and services and registry entries, just like the old one did, and uh, it'll come back with a report that shows you what it found. Scanning speed's about the same, so uh, what you can do is look at your results while it's scanning like you did before and kind of scroll through them, see what kind of junk's on here. It's typical adware and malware kind of stuff that it's finding on here that, ironically, you didn't find with 1.75. So they must have made some improvements, hopefully made some improvements in the detection engine that would hopefully have stopped a lot of this stuff from coming in. We'll have to report back on that later. So, And you can stop the scan early, and fortunately, unlike a lot of other programs, if you stop it early, you still can quarantine everything that comes up. Um, what's interesting, this doesn't uh, give you a delete option. It just gives you a quarantine option when you end your scan. 
and uh, it shoot, it took a good minute or so for this scan to actually stop once I click stop scan. So you see here, uh, it gives you the default option of ignore once, which I'm afraid a lot of people are going to select that. They're not going to realize, hey, I should quarantine these. So the default should really be quarantine, but for whatever reason, they decided not to do that. But on the bottom left-hand side, you do see a quarantine all, and then it quickly, magically, miraculously knocks them all out, throws them in the quarantine, which uh, on a couple of quick looks, I could not find the quarantine to delete these files, but I suppose it's there somewhere. When I have a little bit more time, I'll run through it at depth. So that's Malwarebytes 2.0. Make sure you and your customers upgrade ASAP. It's available right now. Chuck Fresh, PCGYN. That's Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day.